Hello! Okay. Uh, yeah. Vinyl finds and pickups. Vinyl update. Let's get to it. What's up, vinyl community, YouTube, music community? This is a vinyl update, vinyl pickups, vinyl finds, whatever you want to call it. I have a bunch of stuff here. Let's get right into it. It's mostly metal. Metal's first. I'll let you know when the metal's done. First one I got was this uh, Xenatrix, I guess is how you say it. Limited edition blue vinyl from Listenable Records. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I left the shrink on. This is a death, thrashy kind of band. Um, fairly new. This may even be their first album. I didn't do a lot of research. Um, somebody else showed this. Bullshit. Bullshit! Um, yeah, it's on this blue. Had a little warp to it, put it through the vinyl flat, made it flatter. It's better, it's better now. Tell you what, that vinyl flat, definitely getting my money's worth. Or should I say my wife's money's worth. <laughs> she bought it for me. So yes, Xena Tricks, Bury the Pain. It's good stuff. <coughs> And also, I got the Dark Angel, not Death Angel, which I fucked up in the last video I talked about. I mentioned Dark Angel, I said it was Death Angel, but it's not Dark Angel. It says, Time Does Not Heal. Uh, yeah, I stuck this sticker right on the jacket. Fuck it. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Um, much better production than, um, Leave Scars. Uh, same lineup, I believe. But it's got Time Does Not Heal, Pains, Intervention Madness, Act of Contrition, The New Priesthood, Psychosexuality, An Ancient Inherited Shame, Trauma and Catharsis, Sensory Deprivation, A Subtle Induction. They definitely talk about, like, um, some real world shit on these two albums, um, <clears throat> like mental illness and uh, being molested and how it causes so much pain and grief for people. Um, I, I haven't looked anything up, but I, I, I feel like whoever wrote the lyrics may have gone through some of that shit. And I feel for a man, because nobody should have to fucking go through that shit. It's double, uh... Double on black vinyl. Yeah. Worst thing could happen to anybody, I think, is being molested when you're a child. No child should have to go through that. So, um, and personally, I think any child molester, pedophile, should have their nuts cut off. But that's just me. Um, this, uh, did I save that sticker? Apparently I did not. Well, shit. Did I save that somewhere else? No. Did I stick it somewhere? Did I stick it somewhere? I did not. Oh, yes, I did. There's that sticker. I think there was another one, though. There it is. I got it. Anyway, this is a band called Nails, Unsilent Death, 10-year uh, anniversary edition. Their first LP includes every song from Unsilent Death, recording sessions with two new exclusive songs on Translucent Green, limited to 500 copies. It's a Newberry Comics exclusive. Um, they are a hardcore band. From somewhere. This is from Southern Lord. Comes with this poster. Uh, 
Oh shit. Ugh. People like hardcore. <coughs> Check these guys out. They're pretty good. Nice thick jacket. Very sturdy feeling and, and thick. Heavy. Kind of heavy. It came in a plastic sleeve that it was sealed and it had a pull thingy on it. Which is kind of interesting. Never seen that before. But I didn't like that jacket or the, the outer sleeve. It's green, like I said. Sounds pretty good. I think it runs at 45 speed though. Yeah, 45 RPM. Which I hate because my fucking work the line the turntable doesn't like to run at 45. I mean it runs at 45, but when I go to switch it back to 33, it doesn't want to go back to 33. It runs at like 27. And I turn the thing up and it runs at like 30. I gotta keep fucking with it to try to get it there. I shut it off. Turn it back on, try it again. Sometimes it takes like up to 10 minutes to get it up to 33 and a third. So it's just it's a pain in the ass and I have to have a 45 plane. And I wasn't going to buy this, but I was like, you know what, I kind of like this album. Surf Nicaragua. I have this on CD. Uh, this is the Clear with, Clear with Black Smoke. Remastered. Um, limited to 1,100 copies. Worldwide. Sacred Rep is such a good band. I was going to get the Ignorance, but I already have an OG copy. And if I got uh, another or a newer copy, I would have wanted the one that came out a few years ago where they did the original cover they wanted, the remastered. Um, but that's that's tough to find right now. So, uh, so there we go. Look at that. Clear with brown smoke or something. Left that in the shrink as well. Surf Nicar Nic Nicaragua. Metal Blade does a great job with their stuff. These Sacred Reich reissues are so much better than the Anthrax reissues. <laughs> you know? So, actually, did this. Did I show you? Oh, yes. Comes with an insert. With lyrics, more than we got for the Anthrax, Sound of White Noise, and the Tom 442. I think uh, We've Come For You All had lyrics, the Gatefold, um, because they had just released that a few years before, first time in vinyl, <clears throat> black vinyl, so they just copied that. But I remember the Sound of White Noise had lyrics when I had it on cassette, so. <clears throat> so those are all the ones I ordered. I got this one at uh, Newberry's. This is um, RSD title. Um, Winter Kills by Devil Driver. 2LP Red and White Split. 1,500 copies. Exclusive 12-inch poster. Um, I remember seeing this. Uh, on the uh, record store days, one of them, and I said, eh, you know, that's not really the best album. You know what? Oh, there's the poster. Yeah, that's not a poster, but, you know, whatever, it's a fucking insert. Um, but I, I, I thought about getting it, and I was like, you know, that's not really one of their better albums. It's the last one I remember listening to, and I was like, eh, it's okay. I couldn't really tell you any of the things on here. I was hoping that they would have done like one of their even older ones, like their first album or Pray for Villains, Beast even. They did this one instead. And anyway, originally it was like 32 bucks and I went to Newberry's looking around and they had this in the $20 and under bin for 18 bucks. And I said, eh, fuck it, I'll get it. It's only 18 bucks. And this candy cane, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> so yeah. If it wasn't one of their better albums, I mean, it's okay. <coughs> Looks kind of the same. I mean, they didn't do a terrible job with it anyway. It's 
got poly-lined sleeves. So, yeah. I don't see much Devil Driver talked about on um, the vinyl community. But they're not a terrible band. I like their older stuff better. They're a groove band, groove metal band. Obviously with the name, you know, what they're singing about, mostly, so, whatever. Okay, now the, we've got two more metal albums. These, we went to, oh, I got some cassettes too, <coughs> which I will show. There goes the glue. So I got these two albums and three cassettes in a place in this town of Littleton, New Hampshire. They have this little um, out-of-the-way record store and they sell art, like uh, pop culture art, um, cassettes, CDs, vinyl obviously, um, some Lego like figurine things and a bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, but I found these two items which I wanted copies of. Killer Dwarf, stand tall. First time I saw somebody show this, I was like, man, I gotta have that. I listened to a stream, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good, I need it, I need it. I haven't been able to find it. And I go to this little hole-in-the-wall store. Or not hole-in-the-wall, I guess. Out-of-the-way store. It's not even on the main street. You gotta walk down a side street that's behind. And there's no parking. And But anyway, yeah, I found this, which was a pretty good condition. It was fairly cheap. I think it... 12 bucks maybe? I don't remember. <clears throat> I mean, it's not a really expensive album anyway, so I think it came with a it came with a cheesy plastic sleeve. But yeah. Killer Dwarfs, Stand Tall. They had a couple of other albums, but they had Raven Life's a Bitch. I almost got that, and I said, you know, I'm not a big fan of Raven. I know it's blasphemy. I'm not. You know, a lot of people love Raven. I'm just, I'm okay with it. I don't have any Raven S stuff, Raven stuff, so. They had a couple Black Flag albums, Chris Profi. Too expensive for my taste. If they're $30 or under, I may have bought one. One was 45 bucks. I can't remember the name of it. And they had one on the wall that was 85 They also had Merciful Fate, uh, Melissa. Or was it Break the Oath? Don't Break the Oath. I think it was Melissa. That was also $85, $90 or something like that. I would have loved to get that too, but I'm cheap. Unless it comes to a band I really love. So, yeah. There's Killer Dwarfs. Stay tall. And I also found this one there with it. I also wanted one of this. I have this on cassette. Cassette. You're up. Wings of Tomorrow. This has got that sweet... Um, uh, instrumental aphasia on it. It's also a gold stamp promo. Um, yeah, what is this? Um, yeah, for the longest time, I only knew the two Europe albums, um, Final Countdown and uh, Super, not Superstitious, Out of This World. It's only recently that I found out that there's more Europe albums than just those two. I was very, I didn't know a lot of shit when I was younger, so. But Europe was another, one of those bands that got lumped into the hair metal, and they didn't sing about the typical hair, hair metal shit that uh, every other hair metal band sang about. I mean, they were more of a uh, hard rock band with some uh, heavy metal edge to it. I mean, like... They don't have a lot of the shit like that, you know. They have songs like Stormwind, Scream of Anger, uh, Wings of Tomorrow, Waste of Time. You know, they got Dance a Night Away, Dreamer, Treat, Treat It Bad Again, Open Your Heart. They have some songs like that, but... in uh, Final Countdown, Final Countdown. That's not a typical hair metal band. Cherokee, Ninja, um, Danger on the Tracks. They're just a good rockin' band, in my opinion. Okay. Here is the... <coughs> That's the end of the metal. This is 
not metal. This is uh, kind of rock, some pop, some new wave, uh, some, yeah, let's start with this one. This is Tubes, The Completion Backward Principle. This has got the song Talk To You Later on it. <clears throat> this is another one I found at that store in Littleton. Uh, this is, the rest of the album's not what I expected, I mean, Talk To You Later, that's a pretty rockin', out, rockin song. But then it's got Sushi Girl, Amnesia, and then on the second side, uh, Let's Make Some Noise, it's more of a funky, um, funkadelic kind of sound to it. Uh, they're all over the place on this album. But I, I enjoyed this, I enjoyed the tubes. She's a Beauty is a great song as well, it's not on here, but it's a different album. Yes, tubes. The Completion Backward Principle. Uh, is there anything else I found there? No. The rest... Yeah, the rest I found at uh, Newberry's. B-52's Cosmic Thing. This has got all the hits. You know, it's got Rock Lobster, uh, Love Shack, Rome. No, no Rock Lobster in here. I thought I had Rock Lobster. Does not. No, it has Love Shack and Rome. Yep. Custom center label on there. This is fairly cheap. I, I assume it's probably a reissue, but I don't know. What the fuck was that? I don't know. B-52s. And this... Yeah, this is all from Newberries. Janet Jackson Control. Huge, not a huge Jan Jackson fan, um, but uh, a lot of other people like the um, Rhythm Nation. I like this one better. You know, this has got Control, Nasty, What Have You Done For Me Lately, uh, The Pleasure Principle, Let's Wait A While, pretty good song. Child of the 80s, so we're seeing these videos on MTV. This one was in the cheek bin, I think, because the jacket was splitting. <clears throat> I glued it, cleaned the record. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with this record by the looks. I haven't played it yet. It looks uh, VG plus, maybe. Um, doesn't look, there's like no scratches, there's some scuffs, there's some, uh, like when, you, when they pull it out of the sleeve. Uh, by the way, this is Eddie Money. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Eddie Money. It's got two tickets to Paradise. Uh, baby Hold On's on here. Yeah, jacket was pretty beat. I just glued it and it's it's fine. And then this one called Praxis. Blind Buy. Uh, this was in the cheap section as well. It's like two bucks. Um, promo, promo copy. It's got like four songs on it or something. Uh, side A, 1984, NBSA, Last Wish. I mean, it's six songs. NBSX, Cut Time, and Electro shock, four shock, something like that. It's all instrumental, but it's really weird. Um, kind of techno, experimental kind of shit. Apparently it's got Buckethead on it. I think I read, doesn't say on here, but I think I read that it's got Buckethead and a couple other bigger names, uh, like Bill Laswell, if anybody knows who that is. But yeah, it's it's fucking weird. I'll probably never listen to it again. So whatever. Uh, that's it for the the vinyl. Three cassettes I bought. Um, first one is Lizzie Borden, Terror Rising. It's just three bucks a piece. 
Which there are less, but you know how cassette tapes are at this point. The people are like, holy shit, cassette tapes are coming back. This one's $25! Because look at it, it's the Beatles. You're an idiot. Anyway, um, yeah, Terrorizing. It's kind of like an EP, I guess. Got three songs on one side. Uh, one, two, three, four on the other. It's kind of an EP, I guess. Inlay. <coughs> Is that? I haven't listened to that one yet. Um, Lynch Mob. I believe it's their first album, just called Lynch Mob. George Lynch. Kind of hard rockish, bluesy almost type of stuff. Lynch Mob's pretty cool. I'd love to find that on vinyl. Uh, anyway. George Lynch is a pretty damn good fucking guitarist. And then this one. Tesla. Five man acoustical jam. I had this on a cassette back in the day as well. And I really didn't like the entire album. I just liked the song Signs. But then re-listening to this, it's the first thing I listened to when I got back was this. This has got some really good freaking, um, the songs are done really well in here acoustically. No lyrics in any of those albums. Now it's got all the hits on here. Coming at you live, Heaven's Trail, the way it is, we can work it out. It's a cover signs, getting better. A paradise. Modern day cowboy love song, which I don't even need to hear that ever again. And a bunch of some other covers. <coughs> Sounds good. For a cassette tape. So that's it. That's everything I got. Uh, until next time, rock on. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much.